Hi guys, Cruise GFX here, and this is my first tutorial on my channel. Uh, it's going to be on, well, it's an in-depth text tutorial for Photoshop, and we're basically going to be learning how to make text like this that's on my background with the gradient and the gloss. Okay, that's pretty much it. So you want to open up Photoshop, create a new um, canvas, unlock it and make sure your color is black, get the type tool and just click on the canvas. So you've got your font up here, I'm not going to go too much into all of this stuff um, and I'm just going to type in cruise. Now as you can see it's pretty close together I don't want it that close together so you want to highlight it come up to this icon, click that and this little icon here controls how far apart they are. So I'm going to leave mine about there. And this this icon also controls how high it is. I personally don't like to play around with that too much. Okay, so we've got the text done. Uh, now you want to double click on your layer. And I'm going to go down the options in order. So drop shadow first. That just leaves a little shadow. Um, you can put the size up and the contour, this is actually really useful Look, I think curved looks quite nice I'll use, yeah that curved one put the distance up a bit there we go um, in a shadow you don't really need to play around with too much in a glow and outer glow you don't really need bevel and emboss is one of the most important here is your style, you've got all the different types of bevels outer bevel, inner bevel, my personal favourite which is pillow emboss and you've got depth, size and soften I'm not going to play around with those this little circle um, this just controls like the type of bevel so I'm going to leave mine about there and the gloss contour, this is a really useful tool um, what you select uh, depends on the type of contour you're going to get my personal favourite is uh, the double ring there and we're going to leave that like that now we're going to put a gradient on um, you want to click gradient come up to here click on the box click on the arrow and then click on the little colour um, box now I'm going to make mine a lime green ok do the same for the other side now what you want to do is um, you don't want two really contrasting colours in your gradient because that's not going to look that good it's going to look a bit tacky so you want two colours that um, kind of go well together so I'm actually just going to use a dark green here that looks quite cool and press OK now if you look carefully those colours there aren't really what I've got here it's a lot darker on the text you want to go back to your bevel and you want to pull your opacity down a bit and that will just lighten it up ok so I'm going to go to stroke and we're going to apply stroke so the black stroke default looks quite cool but uh, for the sake of the tutorial I'm going to apply a gradient so we're going to click the box again now my personal favourite way of doing it is to have the light colour of the stroke at the top and the dark at the bottom so it's kind of opposite to what the text gradient is so I'm going to put a light colour in here, my light green and my dark green, don't worry about what it looks like on the text right now put my dark green in ok now as you can see it looks a bit weird because we've got dark over here and light over here on the text so to fix that you just want to go to angle position the angle up and now the dark's on top, the light's on the bottom, I don't want that so I'm just going to swap it back there we go, that's how I want it ok that is um, one way of doing it. I'm now going to show you an alternative to applying a gradient. So we're going to take the gradient off, I'll leave the stroke on, and we're going to apply a pattern. So, I've actually got some carbon patterns. I will include these in the description, a download to these, but um, this is a good one. And this scale just makes it larger. So that looks quite cool, I think quite a carbon effect and there is another one actually there's this one I think that looks quite cool as well and you can, if you lower the opacity of this 
you can apply your gradient over the top make that slightly more and you need to lower your gradient opacity down as well and there you can see I've got the pattern just behind with the gradient over the top so I'm actually going to put this back up take the pattern off now I'm going to show you how to do a gloss so you want to hold control and click the little box with the T in I'm going to click that and that will select all of it you want to make a you want to come up to your you can choose elliptical or rectangular for now I'm going to choose elliptical but it's exactly the same process for the, um, the rectangular alright basically you want to hold alt and drag up while holding alt over your text about halfway let go of the mouse and then let go of alt and that will just select the top half you now want to make a new layer gradient and you want to make sure it's set to uh, foreground to transparent and make sure your foreground color is on white and then you can just drag this down might take you a few times before you get it so I don't really like that get rid of that apply it again mm, I'm going to do it one more time ok once you're happy with it just do control D and that will deselect now if you look if I click this and drag it I drag the gloss around which is not what we want so you want to click on your gloss layer hold shift click on your text layer click control E and that will group them and there you've got your text obviously now you can apply a I don't know, gradient to the background but that's pretty much it so from you guys I need um, more suggestions for tutorials I know this was quite a basic tutorial because it was my first tutorial um, you can suggest anything for Cinema 4D and Photoshop so just message me with suggestions and that's the tutorial over thanks for watching this is Cruise Designs see you in the next video